Let us all rejoice in the Lord as we celebrate the feast day in honor of all the saints, at whose festival the angels rejoice and praise the Son of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you. As we celebrate the sacred mysteries of the Feast of All Saints, we acknowledge our sins. <clears throat> I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, <clears throat> we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels, who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal. 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might. Be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing, wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. 
Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior, such as the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. After he sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome as we celebrate the Feast of All Saints, the Eve of the Hallowed Day, from which we get Hallow's Eve or Halloween eventually. That name came from the celebration of the feast day of the next day, all the Hallowed Day of All Saints Day. Many days of the year we remember particular saints. There's a couple days where we remember Mary, there's a day we remember Paul and Peter and so St. Rose and so many of the other saints in our church. Well, there's way more than 365 saints. So on one day of the year, we remember all of the saints. Too many to count, too many to name. So their feast day is today, tomorrow, November 1st. So we remember all of them today. In the first reading, John has this vision where he sees heaven. He's angels of God, and then the people in heaven, and it says he sees, well, 144,000. That number comes from the 12 tribes of Israel times the 12 apostles times 1,000, which means a countless number. So for those who literally believe 144,000 in heaven, no, there's many more than that. 
uh, too many to count from every tribe, from every place, from all over. People from all kinds of places can, are in heaven. And we hope to be there one day. At the end, he talks about who were the first ones there, where they were ones who had their white robes washed in their blood, meaning the martyrs, those who gave their lives for their faith. They are the first who are there. But of course, many, many, many more, and we hope to be there one day. We look upon the saints kind of as the Hall of Fame of Christianity, those who lived exemplary lives, and years after their death, people said, yes, we acknowledge that they lived great lives. And then there's this process that goes through until someone is finally made a saint. So every year we add to the list of saints. The Pope eventually does that. So we remember all of them on this, their day today. How can we hope to be among the saints one day? Well, Jesus tried to give us all kinds of guidance on how to do that. That's why we have all his words in, in the Gospels. In the particular reading today, which sometimes people use at funerals, it's because Jesus talks about those who are blessed, and by blessed he means those who are one day happy in heaven. In the book of Exodus, Moses comes down a mountain and gives a whole bunch of commandments, but at one particular time, there's ten. So Matthew wants us to think of that, that Jesus goes up in the mountain. And when he comes down and speaks seriously at the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount, his first words are ten, ten times where he says, blessed are this group, blessed are this group, the ten Beatitudes. So who is blessed? And as I've said many times before, it's not who our culture says is blessed. He does not say blessed are the rich. He does not say, blessed are the powerful. He does not say, blessed are the popular. Or anything like that. It's all, blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those who show mercy. Blessed are those who try to make peace. Blessed are those who are humble. So those are the things that we're supposed to focus on. He says, those are the things that will make you a saint. Be humble. Be merciful. Make peace. That's what he wants us to do during our time here on earth. And we follow his beatitudes. We follow the rest of what he tells us in scripture. We can have confidence that one day we will be among those who are remembered on the Feast of All Saints. Because we will be among that huge crowd mentioned in the first reading that is in heaven. From all areas of the world, worshiping God in heaven after their time on earth is concluded. So today is one of my favorite days of the year. It's a day that we should really think about. Yes, it is the Hall of Fame of Christianity. We can think of some of our names. Many of you were named after someone from scripture in all likelihood. Right? Who was that person? What did he or she do? We have so many people who are called saints because they're martyrs. They died for their faith. We have many people who are called saints because they devoted their lives to helping the poor. We have many people who are called saints because they were missionaries and brought Jesus to remote areas of the world. We have people who are called saints because they devoted their lives to educating people, especially about Jesus. We have many people who are called saints because they devoted their lives to working in hospitals or working with the sick. So those are all great, great things, things that we ought to be doing while we are here. And there are many people in heaven that we can say are there because they just lived good lives and followed the Beatitudes. And that's what we hope is the case for most of us. But we do have their examples. We tell our students, we tell our kids to be good role models. We hope that we're good role models for them. Well, the saints are the ultimate role model. They lived out their faith. And it was noticed how they lived out their faith. Hopefully all of us can say it's noticeable that we live out our faith. That people can tell by the way I act, by the way I live, that yes, my faith in Jesus is serious to me. I want to live it out. So let's remember those. Let's remember here for the next moment, I'll give you time to think. Who are some of the great people in your lives who are great role models, especially regarding the faith? 
And we hope that they are among those we remember today that are in heaven. Who are the good role models that you still see today that are good in giving you examples of the faith? And then to ask yourself, am I a good role model to show that I am serious about one day being numbered among those in the saints in heaven? profess our faith, I believe in one God, uh, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring these prayers before God this evening. that the worldwide church will always draw strength and persever perseverance as exemplified by all unnamed saints who stayed true to their calling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer the violence of war be blessed with lasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who hunger and thirst for righteousness be blessed with the fullness of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who grieve the loss of a loved one be blessed with healing and acceptance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather at this feast be blessed with unity in Christ Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Mike Schumacher, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's blessing on our country, as we prepare for the continuation of our election this week, we pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God, we ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to offer you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord, may these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you. 
And grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. So we glorify you with the multitude of angels and saints, and with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, most holy Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her to guard, unite, and govern her through the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Walker our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on our Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, as they or they offered for themselves and those dear to them, for the redemption of our souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying homage there to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially this evening on the Feast of All Saints, the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenes, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this off you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, resurrection from the dead, and glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of eternal salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them 
as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, through the participation at this altar, receive the holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the peace of Christ, who rest in the sleep of peace, especially those we remember now. Grant them, O Lord, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. And bid us, we humbly beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. To whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Like not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I not worthy, you should enter in my room. When we say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
just as tonight and tomorrow we pray for all those who are in heaven we remember all those in heaven on Monday the feast of all souls we remember all those who have died in heaven or not yet in heaven so I like to always have mass on that day at the parishes so I will have mass here Monday morning at 7 30 and then I'll go to Vail and have mass there at 8 30. <clears throat> if you want to have me any particular intention on that day I pray for all souls but if I think there may be even as an envelope in your packet or if not you can put any envelope with a contribution and write the names of whoever you want to be remembered at that mass and I will that will be the intention on Monday also over at that candle stand over there I have the book of life there that we take out every year during the month of November put down the names of those you'd like to have remembered in prayer throughout the month especially those who have died in the last year but that book is open up to where I have November 2020 written on if you want to write in any names. Tuesday of course is election day so it's nice that we pray. Someone asked can we have adoration throughout the day pray for our nation so I said yes so on the white whiteboard around the corner out in the hall there is a sign-up sheet for adoration. It'd be nice if we had at least two people each hour but anyway, if, if you have a time that you can come in and pray on Wednesday for the Blessed Sacrament, you are more than invited to do so. so. Simply sign up there. And then Tuesday night, we are doing our drive through Saley's Chicken Supper meal, 437. Don't come before 430, but we'll start then and, and go throughout the evening. So you're encouraged to participate in that, and I guess then you can go home and have supper and watch election results if you if you want. All right, and again a reminder: Monsignor Lafferty contributions. Uh, we don't meet that. That's just money left on the table, as they say. That's again for every hundred dollars you give, you save sixty-five dollars on your Iowa taxes. So I encourage you to do that here within the next month. Ask me if you have any questions. Let us pray. Oh God. oh God, as we adore you, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace that coming to perfect holiness and the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. On the Feast of All Saints, we bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. <clears throat> may God, the glory and joy of all the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, Bless you with unending blessings. Freed, from <clears throat> freed through their intercession from present ills and formed by the example of their holy ways of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace through the company of the citizens of heaven. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thank you. Have a good evening.